Hey guys, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today I'm going to be doing it on the 2010 LEGO Prince of Persia Sands of Time Desert Attack. It's ages 6 through 12. Um, it's set number 7569, and it's 57 pieces. Of course, building toy and other languages right there. There. Yeah. And then um, it's sponsored by Disney, all the filming crew, the production, whatever, I forgot, it's Disney, Prince of Persia, alright, so, basically, um, this set is pretty cool, um, it's really nice, um, now, the only problem with it is that this part is way small, this is just really way too small, this bunker, or whatever you call it, alright, so let's start with the minifigs, so I'm gonna start with the horse first. Um, so he's pretty cool. Here's the detail of him. Obviously, he's just a basic horse, but differently designed. Printing, pretty cool. Um, and then you take this off this little saddle, and you see how that's really annoying. Well, it's even more annoying with this thing. Because there's no printing on it. It's just black. So it really looks kind of stupid. And I'd rather just keep the saddle on and just say, heck with it. He has a big hole in him. Ah, it's backwards. Sorry. And then there's the back. <laughs> and front. Sides. Yep, basic figure. So the next thing that you have is... This guy, Dastin, or Dastan, sorry. So, he's pretty cool. He's very detailed. Um, now, the Indiana Jones face is um, similar to this one, but it's not the Indiana Jones face. It's different. Double sided. Yep. And a uh, new hair skull. And then over here, for the torso, right there, and printed legs, of course. That would be stupid without them. So then, flesh-colored arms, which are really rare, and then back part with the two katanas. That's really cool. Pull this out, and you pop it into his hand like this. I really only like to use one because with two it would just kind of be weird. I don't know. Alright, so next figure you got is this dude. Doesn't say his name. Basic. Has this new um, turban sculpt. It's not the same one as Dengar or the, Ambu or the Ambush and Cairo, or whatever set from Indiana Jones. Nice printed torso. Under there. And new axe, but you have to assemble this. It's not one piece. Alright. This one. I really like to call him Old Fashioned Freddy Krueger. I mean, really, doesn't that remind you of Freddy Krueger? Those claws. Jeez. Alright. So, yeah. Really kind of an odd figure. Ah. Spikes on him. Kind of weird. Not a big fan of this figure, but I'm sure he has a big part to deal with in the movie. And I forgot to mention, this guy has a weird face. Really weird. Weird, like I said. Alright, so then next figure, basic Lego skeleton. Of course, you need that in these sets, guys. Ooh, I'm a skeleton. Ooh. Yeah, no. So then basic Lego snake. Nothing changed about it. And then a scorpion. Black. Really rare. 
no races, just saying black. Alright, so then here, um, next part of the set is the little stupid bunker thing. There's really no point in get it ready. Alright, here you go. So, really no point in this. Um, but it's cool. So, basically you have this, it folds up, it goes, um, two jewels, one, here's the other. Nothing special really. Fold it back down, and yeah. Now this is my, one of my favorite parts, is the dead little green, uh, not, not green, dead plant. It's like a tannish color. And these staffs, these are really awesome. I think that it's a great idea to include this because these are rare to be to begin with, and just really cool. And sand detail is nice, but they use multicolor sand, which is kind of stupid right there. They use like darker tan. Same with this tree. Thank you. All right, back. Hideous. They used gray. How stupid is that? I mean, really? Come on, Lego. Alright, so this set gets a... Uh, I'll give it a 4... 4 out of 5. 4.5. Not a 5. Definitely not a 5. This is not a 5 set. Not saying it's terrible. Just not a 5. Alright, so see ya. Bye.